you will not believe what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be using a grapple. That's right. I have a grapple that I'm going to be pulling this tree out with right there. I can't get in here from the side to pick this up with the forks and I can't really get underneath the end here to hook a chain around it or to hook my choker chain around it, but I now have a grapple. All of you have been telling me I need a grapple. Well, guess what? I have a grapple. So it's not really a grapple, but I guess you could call it one. Uh, it is a log tong, log tongs uh, that Rick let me borrow, or I guess he kind of just gave it to me because he didn't, he never really used them. And I've never used one myself. So today I'm gonna try the log tongs out on pulling out this log right here. I cut off the end up there. So there's the top isn't in there. It's just this one long pole that I need to just pull out enough to where I can cut it into sections and then pick it up with the forks. And I'm not exactly sure how close I need to be to hook the chain onto this. My idea is I'm just gonna hook a chain around my pallet forks there um, and then just pull this backwards. And I know pulling in reverse, you don't get as good a traction with a tractor, um, but I just, when I'm up here by myself, it's just easier for me to keep an eye on things and to see how everything's being pulled out instead of having to look over my shoulder. And plus, I have my carry-all on the back so I don't have my hitch anyway. So a chain on the pallet forks hooked up to the log tongs. So we'll see how it goes. My first time using some log tongs. All right, so I believe to use these log tongs, you just kinda hook them in and then as you pull, they dig in more. So I'll hook this up to the chain on the forks. We'll see what happens. Duh. Try this again. One more try. I don't know. <laughs> These things are awesome. Why don't, why doesn't that stay in there? All right, I rehooked this chain a little shorter, so I want to try to lift this end up because it's digging in pretty good to the ground. I don't know if this is going to work either. There, that's a little better. I've got this other log right here. I'm gonna give these log tongs another try. And again, I'm probably not using these things the right way with uh, obviously with the pallet forks, uh, but 
I don't know, they, they just didn't seem to grab the last time. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna go back to the old chain. So this is the next one here that I'm gonna work on. Just clean off the branches and cut them off and pull this one out. And I was thinking I was getting close to being done up here. However, I looked around and I noticed um, there's a couple, this tree right here is blown down. That one over there broke off. This one here is down and this one right next to it should come down so there's actually quite a bit of uh, wood still up here that I can gather up yeah this one here I think this just recently broke off but there's another good nice little might be a little tricky getting them off that that one that he's hung up on there. Definitely would have to pull him out and probably would want the draw bar on. But then there's another one over there. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to take a little different approach on this one. Instead of dragging him out, I think I can come in here and get close enough to the center, enough just to pick him up and move him that way a little bit, and then probably cut him about in half, and then take each section out. Um, but yeah, instead of dragging him out and futzing around with that log tong or a chain around the forks, I think I'll just lift him up and slide him over that way and then cut him to length. There we go. going to be right on the fork. Oh, maybe not. So I came back and took another look at this one that was just laying here along the trail. I cut the end off and he is nice and solid on the inside. But eight inch diameter. So I just cut two little sections. I made these shorter just because I'm gonna take these home with me right now. Um, and I don't wanna be going down the road uh, with traffic and having a big eight or 10 foot, 12 foot log on the forks. So I got two little sections there, five rounds, five rounds each. All right, so another little afternoon of Woodhound adventure up here at my neighbors, but I'll tell you what, the log tongs, Rick had them hanging on his wall in his shop, kind of as a decoration, and I now understand why. Um, but he said he had never used them, so uh, I don't know. But after trying them today, I don't know, I, I'm sure they have a purpose and they're used probably in a way that I wasn't using them that makes them work better, but I was not impressed with them. 
Not at all. I'll just stick to my choker cable or a chain and yeah, I thought they'd kind of work kind of like a, a grapple where you just kind of hook them on and then as you pull they dig in and lift it up, but not the case. And when you're moving them around, they end up pinching your hand. So yeah, not a fan of the log tongs. Now log thongs. So I ended up with five nice little logs here that I'm going to be taking home to my wood yard. With the big pile over there, it's now up to 20, I believe 20 logs on that pile. And that Rick and I are going to be hauling out of here, here in the next few days. So stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.